so and it's good. like Swedish people have better nuts than we do. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Cheers! Welcome back, lattes, to another episode. We're eating candy today. Yes, I think you will be pleasantly surprised with the selection. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you guys, Tina Tina. sent us this box. We'll tell you about her in a minute. She sent us so much that we cannot fit it all into one video. This is even a stretch that we have over here. It's a lot of candy, Tina. Yeah, it's a lot of candy. (laughs) Bless your heart. So if you guys want to see a part two of this, we have the goods. Let us know I mean, in the comments. I wouldn't be opposed to a part two of eating We're gonna candy do it on camera. So I'm going to read you guys uh, just a little bit of Tina's little note to us because this is so Thank sweet. You. Hello, my name is Tina and I live in the northern part of Sweden with my husband, our cat, and our two sled dogs. That's so cool. I, I know. Sled dogs. I feel that everyone during these COVID-19 times need a little happiness in their lives. And I love the videos when people try foreign foods and candy. So I contacted Holly to ask if you would be interested in doing an Americans Try Swedish Candy video. And she said yes. So here you go. We said yes. Well, she said yes. And I I said, I said, heck yes, I will take the Swedish candy. Before I introduce all the included types of candy below, I would just like to thank you for all your videos. One of your videos popped up on my feed a long time ago and I have followed and subscribed since then. I love your friendship and your humor and I look forward to every video you post. Aw, sweet! Cheers! That's so fun. Thank you, I Tina. Love, I love hearing how people like came across our channel mm-hmm. and all the things they love about it because we need more of that love in the world. More of the positivity. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice hearing about like the joy that we spread through these videos just yeah. by like doing silly things. Because yeah. it really does brighten a lot of people's days. So we love hearing about that. Including mine. Sometimes yeah. I'm having a bad day and I just sit here at this table with my dear friend Jess. And, and it makes everything, all our worries just kind of go away for yeah. a little. Cheers I to that. Think. Cheers. Ready think. for some I'm ready. candy? Let's let's rock this. <laughs> let's get this rolling. What is this? <gasps> We've got the Marabu, like you said, Schweitzernaut. <laughs> Schweitzernaut. <laughs> Which looks like a <laughs> hazelnut type. And the Marabu. Oh, ah. Here, you, you attempt. Milk chocolate? Oh, milk chocolate. Oh, oh milk, 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 milk This is chocolate. like Mad Libs. You say the words, I'll guess what, what it means. That's got to mean milk chocolate. In Sweden, they almost always buy their candy using an empty bag or container and filling it up from a wall of different candy containers and paying by the weight. Like bowl candy. Yeah. yeah. Almost all their supermarkets have these walls of candy that they grew up with. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this word, but it means Saturday candy, as it is normal to only let Swedish kids on, eat give candy it a, on Saturdays. Give it a try, Austin. No candy on <laughs> no any candy other on Saturdays? day. Only on Saturday. Oh. No candy any other day. Why? Is that a law? <laughs> That's a rule? No. It's just tradition, I guess? Oh. It's just what they call it. Uh, oh. The candy you are trying right now, Marabu, I hope I pronounced that pro- correctly, is part of Mondelez, which is an international group. It falls underneath the same umbrella as Cadbury and t- Toblerone. Ooh, it smells Toblerone. like Toblerone. That's Toblerone is good. Like. Hey. Cheers. It's so good. It's so creamy. It's so creamy. Just so much better than the chocolate we have here. It does taste like Toblerone. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Can you imagine that on a s'mores? Oh, now you're talking. Whoa, you just... Did I just gleek? <laughs> gleek, that's the word. Sorry. I didn't want to say the wrong whoa, word. Whoa, whoa. You gleeked a lot. You gleeked all over the table. I can never gleek. do it on purpose. I said, whoa. Whoa. I did it. I did it on command. Wow, that's a talent to learn. Whoa. Oh my gosh, we whoa. can make a video of trying to teach ourselves stupid, stupid human tricks. Things. Next on the list, Jungle Brawl. They're little monkeys. Huh, monkey poops? Try and guess what it means. Uh, wait. Lectris gmock is licorice. <laughs> yeah. Jungle. Jungle. Jungle, jungle salted licorice. Jungle, jungle something. Jungle, jungle yell. Jungle, jungle yell? Yep, which can be seen on the bag as Ooh, a Jungle yell. They are made of a salty licorice coated in salt. Ooh, oh, look we at this. got it. High five. You can see that salt on there. That's what that white is. That's is that saltiness. all salt? So yeah. Tina says, I do not like these at all, but it is a popular Swedish candy, so I felt I had to include it in the package. It was perforated. They even have better packaging. Perforated package. 
Gosh, they really smell salty. Yeah, but it's almost like not a smell. It's just like a... I don't smell any licorice. They're really hard and the, they really don't look hard. appetizing whatsoever. Look at these little bugs. Okay, ready? That burned my tongue, it's so salty. Oh my word. I did not expect that. It's hard, like hard chewy. Oh, Ew. it gets worse. <laughs> you get past the saltiness, I don't think it's that bad. <sighs> it's a different, like maybe I've never had good black licorice, but this is not bad to me. Mm -mm. Would not like know. another though. All right, next okay. on the list we've got Fruxo. These are a mix of three different flavored pieces in the shapes of different candy fruits. They look good. This looks promising. Oh, oh they smell nice. I imagine they're gonna have a similar texture to the Here, last let's things. see, how many colors are there? Did you drop another one down a shirt? <laughs> Save that one for later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How long will we forget about it? <laughs> I don't know, that's on you. Done. The lemon tastes like a, a lemony cleaner. Like I don't hate it. It tastes like a lemon drop, like cough drop. Okay, yeah, I could see that. It reminds me of like lemon Lysol. They remind me of Swedish fish. Red is really like Swedish fish. It's Swedish fish. fish. Mm -hmm. That's the flavor. It has the same flavor and the same like texture. It totally is. Crazy. Wow. Those are really we yummy. We dig it. Big fan. Mm -hmm. I would, and they're not like overpowering. I almost feel like you could have a small handful and you'd be good. Mm -hmm. Lord Ags Goddess. Yay, Lord Ags Goddess. <laughs> All the candy. Do this snacks. Sounds really epic. This bag looks epic. And also, Tina. Wait a second. There's like what? hair flat. This is her dog hair. Her sled dog. Tina, <laughs> you said your sled dog. Hi, doggies. Doomless snacks. I just like the name of I this kid. Sounds good. Doomly. It looks delicious. Mm, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh, it's like that other chocolate bar, but Here's me. they're smaller than I expected. It has a really familiar taste. I think it's Little Debbie that makes these little treats. They're like little cakes. The Star Crunch. Is thing. that what they're yeah. called? Star Crunch. That's what I was using. Yes. That takes me this back. This is good. Mm. That's what I liked about it. It's a Star Crunch, but we see better. those all the time. And Swiss mm. cake rolls. I love Swiss cake rolls. I got chubby on those in fourth grade. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh goodness, <laughs> Tina, bless your heart. Mm, those are good. Mm. Hey, I reckon these. Recognize these? Haribo. Haribo. These are Swedish. So no, they're actually German. She said oh. that. She said they're actually German, but they're very popular in Sweden. But I feel like Haribo is now popular kind of like everywhere. almost everywhere. So we've got Let's the try. regular fruit ones and the sour ones. Let's try the Reggies. Little yeah. pacifiers. Yeah, how cute. I wonder if that that's what their real pacifiers look like. Because ours don't look like that. Yeah. Really good, what you'd expect from a yeah. Haribo candy. Just like a Haribo. Sour one. There we go. I wanted to try this white flavor, whatever hey, that I'm is. Try that one. Cheers. That's really good. It's very tropical. Coconut, pineapple. Tastes coconutty. One of the two. You can't go wrong with a bag of Haribo candy. You know exactly what you're getting each time. Or just something. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that was sour bite. <laughs> Maybe Whoa. not exactly what you're getting, but I think my stomach will hurt if I eat I know, too there's, many. There's a lot more to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope there's more sour candies. I'm All right, excited. this next one is the Turkish pepper. Oh, wow. They're hard. They're hard candies. So Turkish pepper is Danish. Oh, Danish. For Turkish pepper, it is a salty licorice candy which was invented in Denmark but was acquired by Phaser and is a very popular in Sweden. I can't remember if I've tried these before or if I just watched the guys. I like Tikis. Tikis. Peeber. That's how we Americans would read that. All righty. Bust it open. It's probably gonna be real not good. Ooh. Ooh. She says again, I personally don't like licorice, but my husband loves it. Are they hard? Yeah, they're, didn't you hear it? It's not on the oh, table. Yeah. Doesn't smell very great. It smells like it smells like licorice, licorice. though. It smells like what I think of when I think it of licorice. It says original, but then it has three, three flames, flames next to it, so I don't know what that means. Maybe they made a, maybe they is took that, it down from there. Is that three there. out of 10 flame stars or? 
I don't have any more drink. Mm. Salty at first. I don't like it. That's real strong licorice. It's not super hot. I don't tell you what. <laughs> I like pick. it better than those other jungle deduce trees. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. This is gross to me. Oh my gosh, this is, I would take this over that any day. For real, this has such a strong licorice flavor. Wow, I'm shocked. Apparently I like would... licorice more than cat yeah. poop. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Wow. Oh. Hmm. I actually kind of like these. I am having a hard time a keeping bit. this in my mouth. Oh wait. <laughs> the flavor. The wait flavor's changing. Hold on. I'm getting that ammonia cat pee taste again. <laughs> Can someone please tell me that I'm not crazy? Who licorice else thinks? Salty licorice tastes like ammonia. Ammonia cat pee. Cat pee. Like I mean, the, I can kind the, of see the where smell you're that from. comes out of the cat box. That's what it's. And then when I start thinking about that, it makes me want to yak. All right, next on the list, cola flascor. Are the mean, or as the meaning says, cola bottles. Cola yeah. flask. Like, like flask bottle. Cola flask. Arribos has a Coke bottle. Uh huh, they do. A cola and a fizzy cola. They kind of look like caterpillars to me. Oh. Do they not? Like the swirliness makes them look like caterpillars. So you're saying they're jelly they're, covered bugs? Yeah. Think of it as that. Mm. Do you like cola flavor candy, generally? Yeah. I don't like... See what I'm talking about? You don't have the perforation and it just goes crazy. Wow, they're bigger than I thought. I thought they'd be little guys. Mm, they smell These good. are bigger. Mm, they're soft. This is the texture of Swedish fish, for sure. So fun fact, these are normally part of the candy wall, but in a larger form. They make larger? them even bigger. Really? Wow, mm, that's good. These, These are, are yummy. Good. I'm not a huge. Was that your jaw popping? No, that was like suction. Oh, like a suction. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. My mouth is doing really weird. So, I'm gleeking. I'm like salivating. Candy's flying everywhere. I'm imagining like weird tastes and smells. I'm spinning everywhere. Every I need to set up a wall and a baby in the corner. I need a napkin. My table is really wet. <laughs> <laughs> For a cola flavored candy, like I don't hate them, but I don't love them. There's not like something I would Same. buy. Same. But these are really tasty. But you would eat them. Like, yeah. You would... If they were in front of me, I'd eat them. Yeah. Probably more than I should. Next on the list. So center is a lot like a plop, which we also have in the box for us to try, not this time, next but time. maybe next, next time. time, as it is a chocolate with a soft toffee filling. Ooh, soft toffee. It's a roll of caramel. But is roll of caramel or toffee? We'll find out if it tastes the same or not, but definitely resembles a roll of. All I know is it's not licorice, so I'm gonna like it. Mmm. Look at that. Look at that inside. I tried to bite a piece of it, mm. but it just ended up all going mm. in my mouth. That's better than a Rolo, I think. <laughs> That's a good... I wasn't sure about the toffee because I'm not a big toffee person, but mm -hmm. it's very mild. Mm -hmm. It's not like mm. overwhelming. I'm a big Woo! fan. Those I'm a good. big, big fan. I think when you described it as richer, None for you. I think that's a really good way to describe the chocolate in Europe as opposed to the chocolate in the US. It's just all richer yeah. and creamier. It has a bigger flavor mm -hmm. profile. It does. Mm, really good. Yum, yum. That might be my favorite. Oh, this looks fun. These ones, I'm excited Colorful. about. Colorful. It right. looks like it's going to be- Cotton candy? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be cotton candy <gasps> flavor. This is a fizzy pop. Ooh. They have a slightly sour taste, but they have an underlying sweet taste. Oh, it smells like it does smell like cotton candy. Mm -hmm. okay. It's so marshmallowy. Yeah, it is like that. It's not like a gummy gummy. It's like a marshmallowy gummy. Mmm. Oh my. Wow. That is good. Mmm. That's really unique. Because it's kind of gummy, but it's like kind of fluffy. And the flavor It's as fluffy though. as it looks. Yeah. Like, look at that, you guys. We've had like a lot of candy in our 22 years of life. 22 years of life, what? Over 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of candy in our 22 years. Yeah. But this is a really unique flavor, to me anyways. I don't know that I've tasted anything quite like this. Mmm, that Tastes is like a, good. Like a yummy snow cone, like a shaved ice, cotton candy flavor shaved ice kind of kind of thing. Yeah, but to me you know it almost I mean? has like a tropical leaf flavor too. Yeah. If we can find any of these to purchase online, we'll link them below. Mm. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to find these because these are a treat. Mm. We have one, two left. Two, oh my goodness, I'm getting full. <laughs> It's so funny because Holly's got such a tiny waist. Whenever you say you're full and I look at you and I'm like, girl, you're lucky. When I get full, you can see it. 
You can see it big time. All right, on to the next. <laughs> Jeez. These are Pim Pims. They are a small boat shaped candy with raspberry flavoring. Oh, how cute. Little boats. So I'm noticing. Okay. I'm assuming this is also a catchphrase. Do you taste the raspberry? I hope I can taste the raspberry because that sounds delicious. Are these made by the same? It, oh, yep, they are. same company. Same as these little fruit ones. They look extremely similar, but I, bet, I guess like this more, is just a raspberry more flavor. fish candy? Ooh, raspberry Swedish fish candy. Oh, they smell delicious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're Swedish a little fish. bit chewier. Can you taste the raspberry? Nope. It tastes like orange to me. I'm getting an orange undertone. I can see that. You know? Mm -hmm. Like a tropically orange. I don't I, taste any raspberry. I got a hint of raspberry. It tastes floral. It does. Like rosy almost. Like yeah, rose right. water or something, you know? You're very right. And that's funny because when I smelled it, I smelled a hint of that rose. I think it tastes like Swedish fish. And this is like Swedish fish, but formed but differently. But different flavors. And not really that different flavors. I think the base is pretty much oh, the same. See, I, I feel like this is very different flavored than Swedish fish. I don't like those very much. I'm really sad. I wanted to like the pimp. I boats. really thought it would be more raspberry-like. Maybe yeah. that's the trick. The I like these, Do you I like taste the raspberry? Berries. Nope. You should. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Last on the list for today is this poly... Al Grenz by Lar. Is it like a, it looks like the marshmallowy. They type are of thing. the same as the original, but the marshmallow balls are made of Al Grenz by Lar and they are covered in milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. She okay. says, sometimes I crave both chocolate and the Al Grenz, but then I buy these ones. All right. No perforated fancy tabs, so gonna go everywhere. Oh, they're, they're cute little guys. I thought they'd be like this big. Like little, they're tiny little guys. They're so light. Can you juggle? I Stupid can. human trick. Oh, no juggle. way. You can? You wanna see? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, no. Oh! 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 It fell in my shirt. Fruit flavored foam. Mm. I'm a fan. Mm, mine was strawberry. I have no idea what I just ate. <laughs> I can taste it. Real, real good. Very confusing candy. It's kind of like a milk dud. The outer. Okay, that shell. Coating yeah. is like milk uh -huh. dud. And the foam. I, I don't even know what that's like. It's foam. Like that's the only way to describe it. I need to see this. It's kind of. It's almost like a stale marshmallow, but not stale. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the texture of a stale marshmallow. Reminding me of Charleston chews. I do like it. It's very weird. It's yummy. I like it. I'm a big fan of Charleston chews. Oh, I think I got a, like a fruity strawberry one or something. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. You guys, that flavor is good. This is definitely worth a try. Mm. Tina, mm. you're the best. Thank you so much. Which one was your top choice? Chocolate I'm and really, candy. I'm really shocked by this, but I would say the Doomsday Snacks are... They're like a step up of those Star Crunch bars. And then, oh, for sure, these, these squishy little... Definitely were my favorite candy. Yeah. Yep. Chocolate-wise, I mean, this is kind of in between chocolate and candy. It's a toss-up. But I yeah, that's a good that's a good compromise. Uh -huh. oh, those are but so I good. think this is my these are the top for four. chocolates. Yeah, these are the these, top four. These are the best. We have the in same my opinion. taste. Mm -hmm. These were the absolute worst. See, and I think these were the absolute that was worst. Pretty bad this too. is disgusting. So gross. I really wanted to like this because I like the idea of salty and sweet. When I cook, I'm always like playing with salty, salty sweet, and spicy, sweet. and I really wanted to like these, but I could not get over the Not action. bad, but definitely not. And the flavor. Something I'd want to eat again. Oh, that was a lot of candy. Yeah. <laughs> well. Thank you, Tina. That was fun. That, that was, was a lot nice of fun. Again. I hope we can do another you brought, like, box You brought like some this. joy to this table right here. A real lot of joy. And let us know in the comments, you guys, if you want to see us do a part two of this box, because it's going to happen. How many more candies? Oh, like this many more. You don't get a choice. We're going to do another We're one. We're going to do it. <laughs> Or if you want to see us try any other food, yeah, boxes, food boxes from other countries. Or we are always open to ideas. If you guys are willing, if you want to send us a food box, get in contact with us somehow via Instagram, email, something like that. Yeah. And we'll we'll try to work something out. We really appreciate when you guys are giving us input and supporting us like that. So love to, love to see that. We love our lattes. Thanks a lot, lattes. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.